What it do, Libras? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Girl King. Get you some. Get you some. Get you some. Grand Risings and Grand AM to you. Happy Sexy Saturday, Libras. What's going on in your world, in your circle, in your cipher, in your auric field? We're going to grab a quick message, see what's going on out there in the energies, in your energy. Hello to all of my new subscribers, my faithful, ever-growing few, and for those of you just breezing on through what it do. You know you're in the right place if you are sun, moon, rising, north node, Libras in the house. As per usual, some or all of these messages may or may not resonate with you in this current passage of moment. So please do only take the messages that vibrate with you. If it's not what rings true for you, Libras, then most likely it's not what it do. Go ahead and just leave it on the counter. Hoping all of you are happy, healthy, and well out there. High vibe tribe. Maintaining your vibrations, are you? Let's see what's in store. Someone could be going to the store. Some of you could be going shopping today. Getting sexy on this Saturday. Just kidding, Libras. You're always sexy. Angels. Shall receive someone's pissy this morning. Who pissed in someone's Cheerios? Who was it? Someone could be having Cheerios for breakfast, yes? A lot of moving around. There's a lot of heavy energy. Not heavy for you, I'm feeling, Libra. <laughs> heavy for someone else. Someone's a little pissy this a.m. Hmm. Morning. Yeah, someone's in morning this a.m. They're pissy. Oh, Whistling Dixie. <laughs> Pixie sticks could be significant. Did someone buy some old treats? Or some old sweets they had when they were a child or something you favorited when you were a child something sweet so the same masculine energy mm. someone doesn't want to talk about it talk about a frog in their throat could be just me maybe it's early <laughs> yes this masculine energy here is in a pissy situation and it's like they're whistling Dixie like they weren't the ones to piss in their own Cheerios Funny enough to be specific the bee the bee's knees or the bee gees could be significant well, it's five o'clock somewhere. Hmm. Interesting. So there's a masculine energy that is turning his back to a feminine energy because she's a drunkard. <laughs> That's a very old word. This feminine energy may be older than this masculine. So this masculine has involved himself in a pissy situation with a feminine energy who's a drunkard, who may get piss drunk, which is why he's pissy. Or she, take it how it resonates in this world. <laughs> Show me who hurt you. What's going on? Is there a farmer in the dell? Who's driving a tractor? Do we have farmers in the house? <laughs> I 
Has someone been on a dating site? Maybe not a typical dating site because they're showing me a... <laughs> they're saying meetfarmers.com and I know that's not that website's name, but I know that there's a, a dating website out there that's more geared towards like farmers and ranchers. So it's interesting <laughs> that this feminine energy, yes, yeah, she becomes quite a terror when she's been drinking. And she asks silly questions like, show me who hurt you. Well, you did, jackass. You hurt this masculine. In some shape, form, or fashion, that's why he's pissed. That's why he's turning his back on you. I'm hearing the word intrepidation. <laughs> this masculine's got the meat sweats. Kansas City could be significant. The Kansas City Chiefs. Someone's been concocting something. A feminine energy. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mixing all kinds of things together here. A pestle and motor. So this feminine energy has been utilizing a pestle and motor to concoct something. And she's been doing this behind closed doors and specifically she's been doing this at night. But she's the one asking this masculine funny questions like, show me who hurt you. Well, it's you. <laughs> this is like her alter ego. This feminine energy could be bipolar. This is the darker feminine aspect of herself. So when she feels hurt, when she feels threatened, when she feels turned away from, she resorts to a childlike state. So when the kids didn't want to play with her on the playground, well, this little girl, <laughs> she sought revenge. She's a very vengeful spirit. She likes to cook up things. She likes to concoct things. Well, what is this that this feminine energy is concocting and mixing? What is she concocting and mixing for this masculine? It <laughs> said, would you be so kind as to pull the royal finger? So she knows that this masculine is a divine masculine. This masculine could be an Aries. This could be an emperor. For some of you, this emperor is a divine masculine. For some of you, this is just an emperor, an Aries. So she's concocting things to keep this masculine in play, to keep him playing along with this joke because the joke's on him. I feel like this masculine involved himself with this feminine thinking that he was going to get over on her or get something out of this situation, but his involvement with this feminine energy has him on the losing end. This is not a winning streak, this is a losing streak. And he continues to lose with this feminine. 
because all he's doing is expelling his energy towards her. <laughs> I mean, when you urinate, you are expelling things from your body. So, however he may be giving to her, pissy or not, <laughs> it's like he's being drained. Draining the lizard, right? <laughs> That's what he's doing in this photo. He's draining the lizard. So it's like this masculine may have involved himself with this feminine in a very sexual manner. And that may have been all that it was for him. I just heard, but the sex game isn't going to keep her. But I feel like it's referring to him. It's like his physical needs, masculine-wise, may have been met, but like his emotional needs were not met. And although this masculine involved himself with this feminine energy, thinking that it was just going to be a physical and although that's all that it was, he still wanted some type of emotional. And he wasn't getting that from her in the positive response. He was getting the emotional from her in a negative response. And a lot of blame. Her getting drunk. Her being the one who hurts him. Possibly by what she says to him when she's drunk. And then acting like... She's not the one who hurt him. When in reality, she's been plotting and planning on this masculine for quite some time. And how do I know quite some time? Because the clock's right there on the wall. So this could have been going on from anywhere from five weeks to five months to five years. It's five o'clock somewhere. And it's interesting because yesterday was just five, five, five. Hmm. You're giving me five of pentacles energy. So this masculine was running through the fives. All, all sorts of changes with this feminine energy. And she's been concocting and mixing things because, you know, when you tell someone to pull your finger, you're about to kind of pull a prank on them, right? It's kind of a joke. So it's like she's been trying to keep him playing along with this joke, this game, this prank. And really, she's pranking him. She's pranking him to drain him. Leopard or cheetah print could be significant. <laughs> it's like this masculine was wearing cheetah print and he was cheating. And this masculine may have cheated on you or cheated you by involving themselves with this feminine energy. Now he's showing up all sorts of different. He's feeling all sorts of different. He has something to tell you. This masculine is also talking to the Most High because I see him at the edge of the bed on his knees praying, asking. It's like this masculine energy doesn't know if they can talk to God. It's like they may have been away from God for some time and it's almost as if they're questioning. I know it says literally on here, I've got something to tell you, but it's more so asking the most high if they can tell them something if they can talk to them that this feminine is dead inside there are no rainbows there's no unicorns there's no sprinkles and sparkles shooting out of her ass 
No, because she's quite dead on the inside, even though she puts on a good poker face. Or at least she thinks she puts on a good poker face. But again, she gets pissy drunk and starts asking him crazy ass questions. <laughs> Show me who hurt you. This feminine could wear lashes. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. But they've been arguing over money. He wants to spank her. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, he's been concocting some shit too. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you see this? Why are they both mixing and concocting shit to give one another? She started it first though, I have to say. She got about some I can't unsee that. Look, there's a fight over money. What did I say about her draining him? She wants to be the bigger cup. She, oh, goodness gracious. And this came up the other day in the reading. Peace porch, hot peace porch, cold peace porch in the pot, nine days old. Mother goose. <laughs> Nursery rhymes. So these two may have children together. There could be an argument or a disagreement or some type of discord between the two of them about money for a child or money for children. Well, because she feels like she has to eat peas porridge and it's like he's eating good. Now, I see steak and potatoes on that plate for him. But there's peas, porridge, in her bowl. And she don't want to eat it. The bowl's still full. Spoon's in it. <laughs> Haven't tasted not a spoonful of that peas porridge. This is why he's whistling. This is what this intrepidation is about. Because he knows if he turns his back on her, she's going to get that money. She's going to get her ass handed to her by him. I feel like this feminine feels like she's going to get a lot of money or some type of large lump sum. These two may not have children. For some of you, they do. For some of you, they don't. But she feels like she's going to get some type of lump sum or a large amount. And he's like, you have no idea that you about to get your ass handed to you. He's handing her ass, right? Does she look happy about it? She looks more irritating. I can't lie. He's got a bit of a sadistic grin on his face. However... <laughs> See, she got this smirk on her face. Everyone's got a smirk. Everything's funny. See, it's all a joke. Everything's funny about this connection. And no, not like funny, haha. -ha. <laughs> not like pull my finger. There's a whole bunch of shit that's funny about this connection. And then shit got funny with the money. 
And hey, honey, <laughs> there's those Honey Nut Cheerios. If she thought that she was going to get this large lump sum or this money, yeah, because he's still going to be eating good in the neighborhood. Applebee's could be significant. What's up with the bees? <laughs> Honey Nut Cheerios, you know. <laughs> rumble with the bees. There's a rumble for those bees. A rumble in the Bronx. Rumble in the Jungle, the Jungle Book. I can't with this. I can't with this. And he's like, what did I tell you? See, there's some shit that's funny. Look at this. Let me just show you. Look what just flew out. Pull my finger. He's like, oh. <laughs> See, because I told you, I showed you the card earlier, right? He was mixing up some shit on her. So while she thought that she was concocting and consorting to conspire some shit against this masculine oh he was plotting and planning the mixing and concocting himself he's like jokes on you you <laughs> pull my finger yeah i got your pull my finger everybody's pointing fingers there's a lot of blame being passed around here Someone's going to jail. Woo! She's going to jail. She took the concocting too far. Ma'am, put the motar and pestle down. Oh, she's going to spiritual jail. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> Ain't no sunshine where she's going. But she's gone. Going, going, gone. Hmm. Sunflowers again. Oh yeah, she's going to jail for what she mixed up. For what she concocted. Because she thought she was doing some shit <laughs> behind closed doors at night. Nobody would see her. You utilizing the moon. Oh, goodness, yeah, she was just waiting for the full moon because she started concocting this last batch of whatever she was mixing up. Mm. When, when was that? Let me check this calendar real quick. Also on April 13th, April 13th could be significant. That was the last, last quarter moon. It was April 13th. This is when she started mixing up this last batch of shit and he's like, you know what? I got your joke. The joke's about to be on you. He concocted over her concoction. I can't. What else? What's in the box, you? <laughs> oh, Jack in the Box could be significant. Yeah, she want to pop out the box. Do you remember back in the day, the Jack in the Box? What's in the box, her? Mm, she about to be in a nice five by nine real soon. So she could be going to physical jail as well. Oh, everybody feels a little bit of intrepidation. Everybody's got the meat sweats. Oh, she wants to play victim now. This this angry little girl that's still inside of her. Still trying to get out. 
still hurt, still traumatized. She hasn't healed those parts of herself. Which is why when people don't play her games. <laughs> oh, Rudolph. What happened? <laughs> you couldn't play in all the reindeer games. So you started making up your own games for people to play. And when they no longer wanted to play your game, you had to <laughs> get in there with the motar or the pestle. Get underneath that moon, get in that dark room. What do you got, an at-home chemistry set? What's happening here? This is make-believe. This is... This is so juvenile, and that's why she's appearing in this younger feminine energy. Because this is very juvenile energy. She may know how to mix drinks. She's drinking a mixed drink. My ties could be significant. Or someone's name could be Mai or Ty. Maya. I can't. Do not smash it down the drain. Oh, she, she's been locked out. So this masculine energy may have kicked her out. He may have locked her out. These two could have shared a residence together. They may have been cohabitating. This could also relate to the fact that this masculine has locked himself away from this feminine energy. Then she's saying, don't smash it down the drain. What, the connection? Because that's what he's doing. We're <laughs> flushing this whole connection right down the toilet. Right down the drain. Yeah. And he's pissed off about it. He's pissed off about it. It's almost like he's pissed at himself because he's stepped away from the most high and it's like he feels like he has to ask. Can I ask you a question? You know, sometimes instead of someone just asking you something, they'll be like, can I ask you a question? You just ask me a question. So now what, you wanna ask me two questions? <laughs> you already got one, shoot, what's the next one? Because his face is brown and red. So it's anger, it's passion, it's desire, but it's like about his roots. About his childhood. About his foundation. His connection to source. We are just chasing after the message today because uh, no yeah she wants to keep this stranglehold of course on this masculine Ooh, she is chasing after oh goodness gracious look at look at this this is how this just all came out i'm gonna show them one at a time look She's trying to choke him up, to hold him up. This is why this masculine is in a pissy mood. 
Because he knows this feminine energy is trying to hold him up. Like a stick up. And what has she been dreaming about? Getting this payout. That's all that she's been dreaming about. I told you this is this is a game. For her. It's all about money. All this feminine energy has been dreaming about is getting her hands on this masculine's money. Again, she thinks she's going to get this big payout. Look at her. Even in her waking state, she's thinking about how this shit's going to come in. Still plotting, still planning. Even though this last batch of whip that she whipped up for this masculine, it didn't take because, what did I say? He concocted on her concoction. And you can take that as a double entendre too. <laughs> he concocted on her concoction. Cock and bull, ginger beer could be significant. Someone could be from Jamaica. I just heard Trinidad. <laughs> Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. She's <laughs> she don't think she's gonna have her ass handed to her by this masculine. She feels like she still got control of him. She feels like she still got him playing into this game. And to her prank on him. Again, she... <laughs> oh, I don't think she's aware just yet. I don't think she's aware just yet. Like, he's already separated himself from her again. He's put her in the Five of Pentacles. She dragged him through all the fives. Now he put her in the Five of Pentacles. This is why this money is here, this argument about this money, whether it's for children or a child or not. What else is going on with this feminine? Mm, she got some real shady plans about getting this masculine strapped up and strapped down. Sit tight there, brother. <laughs> she planning to uh, tie this masculine or keep him tied down? What is she planning to do to keep this masculine tied down and held up? Oh, yeah? <laughs> get away from me. She's planning to play hard to get. So he'll chase her? What kind of... Do y'all see the derangement? The line of thinking? The mindset of this feminine? She's planning to play... Um, <laughs> Keep away from me. <laughs> Keep away. The signs are posted. Oh, her with the mind games. Oh, we got to get out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, so she's doing death spells now. Oh, if I can't have you, no one will. So she sent death to this masculine store? Are you kidding? Do you see the masculine sign? Hanging on the door. Oh, so she's trying to send death to this masculine's door. So if she can't keep him held down, if she can't get him to give her this money, oh, then she wants to take him out to sit him down. Well, sometimes that's how you sit someone down. Yes, you just fully take them out. Then they won't be able to stand up again. And they won't ever get back up again. So this is the shady shit that she's been doing behind closed doors some more. Oh, to keep him from leaving. So if she can't get him to come back to her by 
like playing victim, like playing hard to get. Ooh, 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 ooh. It says your mother has aged like fine milk. She's so gosh damn sour. She already knows that this masculine is is sour on her. There's no more sweetness left between them. So she's going to send death to this masculine's door. If she can't get this money, if she can't keep him, if she can't have him, well, then she's just going to send death to his door. Because he's gone sour on her. What's up with this masculine? This, this energy today, with, with these two, look at, this is her, look at, because everything's spilling out. So she may just be finding out that he's found out what the fuck she's been up to. Oh, she just found out she's out. <laughs> oh, thank you, angels. Thank you. What is this? What was that sound coming from the bedroom? <laughs> well, I'm in the kitchen, but... So she's been trying to get it. So he knows that she's been trying to get into his dreams. Wow. So this masculine uh, is aware. He's become awakened through the trials and tribulations of dealing with this feminine energy. Because she was throwing... <laughs> And I have to say it, make believe magic at him. He invested in actually learning some things. Now, I'm not agreeing in the <laughs> concocting and throwing things back at her. I'm merely stating what was occurring in this situation. Again, since she was mixing up some shit on him, he decided to invest in learning, gaining the knowledge on how to mix up, concoct some shit on her. They just said it was for his protection. So this masculine, whatever he concocted, it wasn't to throw magic back at her. It was to protect himself from her. Because she went, she went past the point. She's been trying to jailbreak into his dreams. She's been just doing the absolute most. And this could be this masculine's mother of his children or child for some of you. For some of you, this feminine energy was just more like a mother figure to this masculine. Again, there could be an age difference. This feminine energy may have been a bit older than this masculine. Yeah, he's clearly marking his territory. Again, so whatever he concocted, he concocted to protect himself. You see how he's marking his territory? What did I say about the keep out sign? I can't make this shit up if I tried. 
She was playing keep away, he's playing keep out. <laughs> keep out, stay away. But this masculine is setting very clear and defined boundaries against this feminine energy. Again, he wasn't throwing shade back at her. He was more so protecting himself. And even though this quote unquote <laughs> magic, this make believe that she was throwing at him by literally utilizing physical elements to, <laughs> I just heard, stricken him. That's not necessarily what was getting to him and affecting him. It was her intentions. Those hit much harder. Than this dibble dabble that she was doing. Again, he actually went and invested in learning how to protect himself in a proper way. Being a mother figure. Here's mommy. Oh, goodness. Y'all know what movie this is from? Yes. This masculine's name could be Jack or someone's name could be Nicholson. Some of you know the movie. Comment down below. I won't say it, but some of you know this movie, right? But he... He doesn't say that when he pops through the door. What does he say? He says, here's Jack. The ex came through that door before the face did, didn't it? Little movie trivia for some of y'all, for some of y'all. Anywho, Hollywood, Hollywood Pippin. Is that what she thought? She thought she was going to be Hollywood pimping off of this masculine? California could be significant. Oh, she, she was a bad actress. This is a whole bad actress. She's a bad actress. Misery loves company. Hmm. Someone's name could be Anne. A-N-N-E. So, did she know what she was doing? Because even death was like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, goodness. I feel the frustration. <laughs> she sent the angel of death to this masculine's door. I, I mean, I'm not kidding. She doesn't want to let go. She doesn't want him to let go. She sent death to this masculine's door since the hard to get, since the cat and mouse wasn't working. Even death was like, are you kidding me? I can't, I, listen, I'm just going to leave it right here. What I say? This masculine has awakened. See, he could have been vindictive like her. He could have tapped into his wounded inner child to also seek revenge against her as she did him. This particular masculine chose not to go that route. Yeah, knock. Thank you, ancestors. Confirmation. 
this masculine chose not to go that route. And he's like, uh, of course, death wouldn't be coming to get me because you quote unquote sent him to me. Like, duh. Of course he's looking at you now, jackass. Yeah, because someone has decided to turn themselves back to the Most High to separate themselves from those that want to play mind games upon them. This masculine. I think this... <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> Woo! Mm-hmm. This masculine may not have spoken to the Most High for a long time, and he may have gotten choked up when asking the Most High if he could ask the Most High a question. When this masculine was down on his hands and knees, he got choked up. He was angry at himself for not listening. For not listening to the Most High, for not listening to his intuition, for not being more grounded, for not recognizing whom he is. Whom she, he should have around him. He or she. Take it how it resonates. But of course, death is looking at this mother figure. Is she out here playing games, doing too gosh damn much? How much? Too much. And not the good stuff. But she was doing it AM and PM. Oh, she thought the shit was easy, like a convenience store. She did shit to make it convenient for her. Plotting and planning and concocting upon this masculine energy. And when the tables turned and he got sick of her <laughs> pissy drunk self. When the sex game wasn't going to keep him. Because he was no longer interested. And she got to mixing up one last batch around April 13th. And that's when she decided to send death to his door and death said you got to be kidding me and the reason death turned away and turned around and is looking at her <laughs> through this crazy psychotic crack in the door is because she tried to take him out because he got right because he got right within himself because he's getting right with God. Because he turned himself or herself back to the most high. And so of course, death has turned around. Because this masculine has turned around. So no, death will not be coming to his door, but very much a return to sender and well, Looks like that's going to be coming to her door. This is what happens when you fuck with people who have a mission. Who when they finally decide to accept it, when they finally decide to get on path, when they finally decide to get on target, when they finally wake up and realize whom they are, when they finally wake up and realize who they're connected to and whom they should serve. Well, then this make-believe is all for naught. Libras, please do continue to utilize your own intuition and discernment to make the very best decisions for your highest good. And I know that you will. I'm rooting for you. I'm cheering for you. Team said we need to get the little girls, and so we will. Just 
some extra confirmation. Not yet, team. Hmm. The 1980s could be significant 80s babies in the house. Get all of these children's in my hands. Angels. What else for my Libras concerning these energies and this reading? What else for my Libras concerning these energies and this reading? Hmm. Brown. I'll just hit these, of course, as they come up. Someone's last name could be Brown. The color brown is significant. 6 p.m. The 1900s. Daytime. The small intestines. Scorpio rising. Appendix. The throat chakra. What did I say about that throat chakra? Green. Mm. The Browns could be significant. The Cleveland Browns. Cleveland could be significant. We have Cancer Sun. Libra Rising. We have 6 a.m. <laughs> 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Day and night. Yeah, that's when our ass is busy. <laughs> we have 7 a.m. The 1930s. Purple, purple rain, purple rain. The circulatory system. <clears throat> Upside down, boy, you turn me inside out. Round and round, upside down, you turn me. <clears throat> Sunday could be significant, Sunday during the day. Nineteenth century, the eighteen hundreds through the eighteen nineties. Blue. The Vikings could be significant. Got a lot of football fans in the house, apparently. Aquarius Moon, North. Hmm. Kanye could be significant. Northwest. <laughs> We have the spinal cord. Yeah, this masculine's gained his spine back. Good job, masculine. And we have appendix here. You know, sometimes your appendix bursts. And it has to be removed. Because your appendix contains toxins. <laughs> Wherein, if they are ingested into your body, can be fatal. He had to remove this appendix. An appendix is also like an addendum. You can find information to something in an appendix. And he did. He found information. He found strength. He found the gumption to turn back to the most high while dealing with this toxic ass connection. This toxic ass feminine. 8 a.m. 5 a.m. 8 p.m. Capricorn rising, the kidneys, ruled by Libras, Sagittarius moon, 5 p.m., the 1950s, 2 p.m., the 11th century, the 1000s through the 1090s, <laughs> that about way back. This is way back, way back past Throwback Thursday. This is way back, way back in the gap, gap, gap. The gap could be significant. Is the gap still open? We have Aries North Node, Sagittarius North Node. A little bit of fire, <laughs> a little bit of flame. Sunday during the day or night could be significant. Or Monday. 
one day during the day or night could be significant. So from Sunday to Monday, I can't make it up. There's West. <laughs> what did I say about Northwest? So the Northwest could be significant. 12 a.m. The 17th century, the 1600s through the 1690s. Did you know this person in the past life, Libra? Did you know this person in the couple past life, Libra? How many times have you known this person? This past person, Libra. The 14th century, the 1300s through the 1390s. We have Scorpio North Node. Taurus rising. The esophagus. We have the esophagus and the throat chakra. What did I say? Getting that frog out that throat. Getting their words together. Speaking their truth. Speaking to the most high. We have Aries sun. What did I say about this Aries? I can't make it up. Is this your emperor? We have 1 p.m. Oh, excuse me. 1 a.m. We have yellow. Yeah, he's getting a... <laughs> Yellow out. Yellow. What is it? Oh, I can never remember what he says. Foghorn, leghorn. Hmm. So this could be your ex. FX. You affected this person. Silver. <laughs> silver cord. Someone may drive a silver accord. A silver Honda Accord. Stomach. Yeah. Getting their guts together. Listening to their intuition now, huh? Tap it on in. Go ahead, friend. Someone's name could be Fred. The Flintstones could be significant eyes. Yeah, this person is opening their eyes. Their eyes used to be wide shut. Now this person is utilizing their eye. Singular. We have Scorpio Sun. We have Aries Moon. Wednesday. Miraculous. 1970s could be significant. Orange. Clockwork Orange. Hmm. Clockwork Orange came out in the 70s, did it not? Or was that 69? I wasn't even here back then, but I... A little bit of new movie trivia. South. The Northwest or the Southwest could be significant. Maybe to this Gemini moon. Where's my moons? Bladder? I can't. <laughs> well, when you expel stuff, it can come out of your bladder. Draining the lizard. See, he's draining the lizard, and what did she say? What did she tell him? Don't smash it down the drain. Yes, masculine. Yes, expel all of that toxicity. Cut that appendix out. Get it on out of here. Oh, that flew. We have Aquarius North Node. Dr. J could be significant. The 2000s. The gallbladder. <laughs> the root chakra. What did I say about this root chakra? Y'all heard me. We have the large intestines. Scorpio moon. Red. Yeah, this feminine is seeing red. 
I'd be mad if I was going to jail too. Spiritual or physical. Oh, they say she's already been to physical jail. Huh? Well, she might be returning. Yeah, she might be returning. <laughs> yeah, this is going to hurt her heart. <laughs> we have a heart here. It's going to hurt her heart to have to return back to that 559, that physical cell. Mm -hmm. When you were doing this quote unquote physical magic, right? Physical things have physical ramifications, physical consequences, even if you were trying to do them <laughs> in the physical to do them in the spirit. Yeah, you, you going to jail either way, sweetheart. I would say hate to break it to you, but I would like that word. And I'm not going to say it's good to break it to you, but mm -hmm. BP gas could be significant. 10 p.m. Someone might be going to get some gas from the BP gas station around 10 p.m. The 16th century, the 1500s through the 1590s, and we have the 1990s. So again, we've got Aries North Node, Sagittarius North Node, Scorpio North Node, Aquarius North Node, Gemini Moon, Aries Moon, Aquarius Moon, Sagittarius Moon, Scorpio Moon, Taurus Rising, Capricorn Rising, Libra Rising, Scorpio Rising, Cancer Sun, Scorpio Sun, Aries Sun. First, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. We have Z as in zebra, H as in heavy, O as in open, J as in jack, V as in victor, A as in apple, E as in Edward, F as in Frank, L as in Larry, N like Nancy, Y as in yellow, T as in Tom, B as in best, Q as in Cubert. P is in Patricia, I is in info. A PI. Hmm. Yeah, we have a PI. This PI's first, middle, or last initial could be Q. Hmm. A PI might have traveled from Quebec. We have fly. Someone may be flying to you. I also heard fly on the wall. We have hen. <laughs> yeah, I think this masculine is done with hens. He's done with these chicken heads. Chicken head, chicken spread. We have hova. We actually... Hmm. Someone could be a Jehovah's Witness. Hova is in Jay Z. Hmm. We have on. As in en route, E N R O U T E. I'm seeing E N. Someone could be an R N. <laughs> we literally have Jay Z right under Hova. That's crazy. We have Hova and then we have Jay Z. I'm hearing H to the is I, J to the. Wait. Y'all know what song that is. I haven't heard it in so long. <laughs> I don't think what they say. Someone's got butterfly jeans. Someone lives in Humboldt County. Someone's last name is Blatley. Or Blakely. Mm, I hear a pretty young thing by Michael Jackson. Pretty young thing, repeat after me. I said, na, na, na. Na, 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 na. I said, na, na, na. Na, 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 na. Oh! I'm not going to finish the rest because y'all hear the frog still. Anyways. 
Hope y'all were singing along. Exercising your throat chakra, exercising your esophagus. Let's get the frogs out. Let's go ahead and speak our truths. Not just today, not just for tomorrow, but in every passage of moments. Libras, I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you for being here, for spending this passage of moments with your girl, whether you are Libra or not. Thank you for your presence, your energy, your vibe, your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your financial contributions, most of all your comments. Leaders, keep doing what you do. Ma'am, sir, lady, man, hi, bye, tribe, I'm talking to you. United we stand, together we rise. Holla at your girl. Peace.